Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This week I am going to be bathing my cat Whisper in my tiny house bathroom. I have a 36 inch by 72 inch shower and it is a little more difficult to bathe a cat in there than it is in my full size bathtub in my apartment when I had it. It was so much easier to bathe the cats in there. I recently took Whisper to the vet and on the drive there and on the drive back she soiled her carrier so now she smells of urine and the cats are hissing at her. She can't clean it all off of her so we're gonna bathe her and get her all nice and clean so that her sister and brother can love her again. So let's get to it. This is the container I'm going to be using. I brought this from my apartment which is Whisker City. It's anti-hairball shampoo so because it's good for cats we're gonna use this as the soap. Since I have bar soap we'll just use this for cats and I'm going to whip up a solution of soapy water and then put it in the shower and then we're gonna bring a whisper over. She's not gonna like this, but I would rather get the urine smell off of her so that she can get back to her life. So let's see how this goes. This is what will be to dry her. You're okay, baby girl. She's okay. No, 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 she's okay. She's okay. She's okay. She's okay. Whisper. Whisper, whisper. She's okay. She's okay, honey. She's okay. This is hard. I thought she'd go in the, in the bucket, but she didn't want to go there. No! Oh my god! Whisper. Honey, you're okay. See, you're okay. You're okay. I feel so bad for her. Whisper. Whisper, honey. Honey, honey. We have to rinse off, honey. Come on. Oh, no. Whisper. Ow. Oh my god. Not enough room in a tiny house bathroom. Um, oh sh Sleep. Okay, I have to get a cup and rinse her. You're okay, sweet girl. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's hard to do by yourself too. There was two people to like fill up the other bucket because I got to go fill this oh, other bucket up now with water so that I can rinse hers. Oh my gosh, and you can see the bumps on her. I refilled this with warm water. We're gonna rinse her off so that she's not licking soap. And I'm gonna put her back in a towel to dry. You're okay, sweet girl. Just gotta rinse, my baby. you again baby look at this baby she's gonna be okay she's gonna be okay her sister and brother are gonna love her again you want to make sure that you use a drain stop so that as much hair as you can keep from getting down the drain that you can we seem to get kind of a lot you're okay honey honey you're okay you wanna dry them off as much as you can so that they're not running around the house, either in the air conditioning. That's just how I see it. She went from like a warm bath to now a cold atmosphere, so I don't want her to catch a cold. Oh, you're so okay, you're so okay. I'm gonna make your sister and brother love you again because you don't smell like pee anymore. Look at that cat. This she's all nice and clean. Oh, no, she wants to get away. I just want to show you the space that I'm working with. It's just that little square right there. She did not want to stay in the little shower. I could not fill the shower up. She didn't want to go in that little plastic container. This is the space that I'm working with. If you guys have animals and bathing them on a regular basis is a important thing to you, you might want to get a bigger area or a taller tub or even a taller shower basin to do this in. This was one of my thoughts when I I was going tiny, how am I gonna bathe them with the shower because I did not want a bathtub. So then I thought a bucket or there's a little lip here, maybe fill it up a little ways, but honestly, there's no plug here. So there's no really way that I could cover this drain so the water doesn't go down. So I just chose the bucket and the bucket works sometimes and it doesn't work sometimes and I no longer declaw. So she would have rather been outside of the container than in and I really couldn't do anything about it. I hope this video gives you guys some perspective as what it's like to bathe an animal inside a small space. Some houses and apartments do have showers like that, but maybe they don't have animals. Animals don't always cooperate, so you just might want to think about that when you're designing your tiny house. Either give them extra room or a space of their own or even something to help you out in the process of bathing them. And that's if you don't take them to a groomer to have them bathed. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and click the notifications bell so you can receive a notification every time I post a new video, which is every Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. There's a hair everywhere.